Hello, people from all over the world. Um, I'm gonna make some this kind of tutorials. Not a tutorial, it's just me narrating over the recording of the modeling of this uh, author, this character I came up with for a job entrance test at uh, modeling characters. So here I just started from a queue and started giving the shape of the author. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> But well, you. I'm just uh, adding edges, loop edges, and uh, extracting the arms and the feet from them. I also cut the model in half because I will be using a modifier called mirror. So the other half is just mirrored, and uh, yeah, you get the idea. So yeah. You are now listening to the battles from KDA. So there I I make the made the hole of the eye, adding loops. Although this is not gonna if the the character is not gonna have a like a, a face rig, it's always good to add loops, I think. And so there I'm adding some edges that I know that will end a on the other side of the character so it's not like going from the whole body so I can end them right at the zero of the x-axis and yeah it's fairly simple uh, more poly modeling um, here I add the mouth uh, what else to say Yeah, as you can see, I didn't want the edge to go all over the body. Just I, so I cut it and make I made it end uh, to the other side of the head, like like that. Always avoiding to have triangles and making all quad. So. I'll, now I'm making everything more round-like so, um, Well, most of this uh, like video will be myself showing how to how I made all everything rounder, you know uh, or Correcting vertex by vertex adding more edges One thing I I recognize I did wrong was to model the tail of the Alta uh, curved instead of straight. The man corrected myself here with the foot because I think it's better to extrude the foot, the feet from the leg in this way. And as I was saying, instead of modeling the, I, I didn't model the the tail straight. And that uh, has some disadvantages while rigging because you, in your reset position or in your default position, uh, you will wish for your topology to your uh, extremities, extremes. I don't know. Well, but uh, the the tail is curved, so that can bring can bring some uh, problems later while you try to animate the. I think <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about if you haven't realized yet I'm from Argentina so my English is it's not very good but I try to do my best because I'm Argentinian there for the elbow I did something that I saw a friend of mine do that is to like have this kind of topology on the elbows and the knee I, it's great because you can twist the, the, those uh, parts better because the topology stretches in a way that makes sense and you don't have to add a lot of detail when you uh, do the weight paint or something like that, I don't know, but I think it works. You are now listening to Pop Stars from KDA. Yeah. I really like these uh, songs. 
Yeah, that's that is no good. That's no good, Marty. Why are you doing that? If you are uh, you are wondering what uh, software I use to to have the reference image there, it's called Pure Ref, and you can download it for free or you can donate to the people who made it. So here I all have all in law. Nothing illegal. Although in Latin America that is pretty difficult. Yeah. So I continue rendering things. I start to model or starting to cut uh, edges here that end on the other side of the head to add that uh, like sort of a uh, lip to the to the mouth or to the snout of the other starting giving shapes making him everything more rounder round like uh, what else I didn't did uh, I didn't do a uh, uh, complex rig face rig but you know it adds and there I left a uh, like uh, I didn't model the nose to be part of the same mesh of the head because uh, the nose I knew that I it will be more have more uh, loops and edges than I would like to have in the face so I it's a, a, a separate mesh the nose is a separate mesh also with the eye uh, and there I model I model the nose and I only model one side because I'm gonna try mirror later. Uh, for the eyes, I also like to when I make the sphere of the eyes, I like the where the part where the edge is met, like that will be the pole I think of the sphere. I like the that part to be the pupil of the eye, so I always make uh, that part point to where the eye I would like the, uh, to point. I would like the the eye to point at. Uh, then well same thing with the with the claws there I wanted to be a separate mesh because I didn't want to make a complex straight or a complex weight paint thing then uh, I wanted to make something special for the thumb but I but later I decided I wouldn't so the hands pretty basic very simple I recorded my my church there so yeah, nothing <laughs> more complex I think. I didn't real ah uh, yeah. There I started doing the like the mustache. But I realized that uh, you can convert that into a into a tube. But uh, a tube has like a lot of a uh, geometry that I I didn't found that uh, found useful. Uh, for that part of the body, I rather, um, I then rather, I re later did a like just a simple plane, extruding a plane uh, and curving that plane. It's like for the, those overs, those are ended up being uh, real tubes. So I did that for the a plane for the mustache and for the eyebrows. Then I uh, well, like uh, <laughs> more in the headphones. Those are two meshes in the same object. Always uh, making use of the mirror modifier. Then I started making everything like a little li bit less fat because. When you model just one side of the character, you may always may make everything like different from what it would be when you mirror it. So yeah, modifying that those, making some inserts so everything smooths correctly, and yeah, that's it. So here's the model finished. Uh, I didn't, I still didn't do the textures, but then I later 
to eat them, <laughs> but I didn't record that. So, well, I also didn't record the rigging process, but here it is. It is a custom rig that I made. Everything has a AK and FK a bones, the spine, the arms, the leg, and the tail. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> You can find this model and download it from Sketchfab or from my Gumroad. The model is, I'd say, it's not perfect. Of course, I have some, 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 some things to, you know, to still correct, like those. Uh, weight paints, no, those weights, I'm sorry, but I think that overall, I mean, I'm still new, but I think it works, it worked for the animations I made, so yeah, that's that, and here's the model finished and animated, uploaded to Sketchfab. Nah, nah, nah. Those textures I also made it in Blender using the texture paint mode after unfolding the UVs. And so here you have all the textures, metalness, glossiness, lightness, and the topology. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and you, I don't know, you like my voice <laughs> and let me you let me guys know if you like this if you rather watch uh, videos without me narrating over them and yeah goodbye